Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. I have another Here journal for you. Matthew chapter 11 in the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Here to See channel focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the whole Gospel of Matthew chapter at a time and doing a Here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Matthew chapter 11 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then, I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 11 Jesus and John the Baptist. When Jesus had finished giving these instructions to his twelve disciples, he went out to teach and preach in towns throughout the region. John the Baptist, who was in prison, heard about all the things the Messiah was doing. So he sent his disciples to ask Jesus, Are you the Messiah we've been expecting, or should we keep looking for someone else? Jesus told them, Go back to John and tell him what you have heard and seen. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised to life, and the good news is being preached to the poor. And tell him, God blesses those who do not turn away because of me. As John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began talking about him to the crowds. What kind of man did you go into the wilderness to see? Was he a weak reed, swayed by every breath of wind? Or were you expecting to see a man dressed in expensive clothes? No, people with expensive clothes live in palaces. Were you looking for a prophet? Yes, and he is more than a prophet. John is the man to whom the scriptures refer when they say, Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth, of all who have ever lived, none is greater than John the Baptist. Yet even the least person in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. And from the time John the Baptist began preaching until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing, and violent people are attacking it. For before John came, all the prophets and the law of Moses looked forward to this present time. And if you are willing to accept what I say, he is Elijah, the one the prophets said would come. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. To what can I compare this generation? It is like children playing a game in the public square. They complain to their friends, We played wedding songs, and you didn't dance. So we played funeral songs, and you didn't mourn. For John didn't spend his time eating and drinking, and you say, He's possessed by a demon. The Son of Man, on the other hand, feasts and drinks, and you say, He's a glutton and a drunkard and a friend of tax collectors and other sinners. But wisdom is shown to be right by its results. Judgment for the Unbelievers Then Jesus began to denounce the towns where he had done so many of his miracles because they hadn't repented of their sins and turned to God. What sorrow awaits you, Chorazin and Bethsaida? For if the miracles I did in you had been done in wicked Tyre and Sidon, their people would have repented of their sins long ago, clothing themselves in burlap and throwing ashes on their heads to show their remorse. I tell you, Tyre and Sidon will be better off on Judgment Day than you. And you people of Capernaum, will you be honored in heaven? No. You will go down to the place of the dead, for if the miracles I did for you had been done in wicked Sodom, it would still be here today. I tell you, even Sodom will be better off on Judgment Day than you. Jesus' Prayer of Thanksgiving At that time Jesus prayed this prayer. O oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. My Father has entrusted everything to me. No one truly knows the Son except the Father, and no one truly knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then Jesus said, 
Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. And that was Matthew chapter 11 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First the highlight, Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 30. Jesus' prayer of thanksgiving, verse 25. At that time, Jesus prayed this prayer, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, Thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. My Father has entrusted everything to me. No one truly knows the Son except the Father. No one truly knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, teach, let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, the burden I give you is light. So what's my explanation? Jesus prayed a prayer, thanking God the Father for hiding truth from the wise and clever while revealing truth to the childlike. Jesus invited all who are weary and heavy burdened to come to Him. He would give them rest. He promised to teach those that would come and they would find rest for their souls. He says that His yoke is easy to bear with a light burden. So, what's the application for us today? Why does life seem hard and burdensome when Jesus promised that His burden is light? Once we have surrendered our life to Jesus, He does indeed teach us His ways and His burden is light because He shares our burdens. He provides peace and harmony despite our circumstances. We must be cautious that we do not burden ourselves with anything that God would not have us do or to concern ourselves with. His burdens are light, but we can overload ourselves with things that are not for us, bogging us down and taking our eyes off Him. Take some time to talk to the Lord about your burdens and seek His guidance. Reference 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, for what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness, or what fellowship has light with darkness? Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, what's my response? Lord, help me focus on the things that you want me to focus on. I strive to abide in you as you abide in me, following you faithfully and obediently. Thank you for the harmony and peace that I can experience in all circumstances. I pray for those that are adrift without you. May they seek, find, and abide in you. Amen. Amen. 
And now how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. Do you know Jesus as Savior? Read John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. And talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you. Seek Him now. God bless.